Joining us this morning to talk more about the quarter in a CNBC earnings exclusive is Microchip CEO Ganesh Morthy. Ganesh, it's great to have you back. A lot of discussion across the street this morning about how the things that you raise are pretty consistent with your peers, and that is uh, elevated inventory and some weaker end demand. Uh, anything that you would uh, push back on uh, on that front? No, not at all. And uh, good morning, Carl and uh, Sarah. The um, you know we're, we're going through a classic inventory correction for the industry. Uh, amplified to some extent by just weaker macro um, uh, concerns that have been there in all the regions of the world, pretty much in all the markets uh, that we're in as well. So we got to work through it. Uh, it's uh, usually a two to three quarter period of time over which some of these things get worked out. Uh, the long term economics for why semiconductors are used, the importance for them and innovation all remain uh, you know, pretty much intact. And so that's what we continue to focus is to be sow the seeds for the long term growth of the company. So what do you need to do to be able to navigate at least the current environment? So what we have done is uh, bring down uh, what were, uh, you know, our, our plans for shipments to customers, in some cases to our channel partners, so that they can adjust their inventory consistent with where today's business is at. And as that happens, you know, we're going to be shipping less than what the real consumption is going to be. That's what sets up the case for uh, correcting the inventory and then you get back to consumption, you get back to growth in time. So that's where we're focused is uh, on the one side, uh, you know, getting the correction done. On the other hand, our customers, after two years of being, uh, you know, focused on just dealing with shortages, are, you know, doing tremendous innovation with new products. And a lot of our effort is to help them, empower them with that innovation with all of our new products and technologies so that they can also bring some growth into their business with new and, uh, you know, wonderful new products. Can you talk a little bit, Ganesh, about what you're seeing across the different end markets that you operate in? Because it's pretty diverse. Uh, it is. We're probably one of the most diverse uh, companies in terms of end markets. So I would say all of our end markets, with probably the exception of uh, aerospace and defense, uh, which is about you know slightly less than 10% of the company. But when I look at industrials, when I look at uh, automotive, uh, comm infrastructure, data center, computing, uh, you know, all of these areas uh, are weak. Consumer, uh, of course, has been weak for a while. Uh, the degree of weakness can be slightly different between customers, uh, between certain sub-segments of the market, between parts of the world and where they're at. But they're all weak, and I think they're all facing uh, headwinds uh, in terms of where the macro is and where consumers are and what interest rates are doing to people, et cetera. Uh, but aerospace and defense still has, uh, you know, its own unique, um, uh, you know, upsides and, uh, for us, that's three three sides of it. There's uh, commercial aviation, uh, there's defense, uh, and then there's space. Are you trying to condition the street to get ready for maybe margins that fall below previous floors? Not really. I think what we had said is, hey, if you look at us over 15 plus years, uh, we have a pretty consistent model for gross margin, operating margin, and cash flow through the cycles. And I think no one quarter, because we've had bad quarters in the past, no one quarter defines a company, good or bad, as the case might be. Uh, we have had a number of 40% operating margin as a floor on a trailing 12-month basis, and uh, we feel very comfortable. That's what we'll be through this cycle and into the next uh, up cycle.